Okay, working on a 1986 Toyota Turbo. Uh, had to pull a head off and got looking at the uh, fuel injector connections and they're all beat to death. Uh, so uh, the clips are missing, uh, the stock clips, these darn things, good luck finding these. Uh, uh, they'll sell you new connections, pigtails, uh, rebuilt kits, etc. But uh, can't find uh, the clips anywhere. So uh, again, this 86 Toyota Turbo, this is a pretty standard uh, fuel injector for the day. Uh, tried making clips similar to the uh, to the stock ones, but there's not enough of the connector left to even hold these things on. So I ended up with this uh, kind of a prototype here, and uh, actually seems to be working pretty good. Most of the top of those connectors are broke off, so even the stock clips won't uh, don't have anything left to hold on to. But uh, this type of setup, it actually ends up grabbing underneath. So when you do your initial bends here. You want this to fit on pretty darn snug and it should kind of snap into place. So it's basically, uh, these wires are just pretty much the same. Uh, the bend is pretty much the same as the width of this. You don't have to play with these other dimensions, but uh, this basically goes on and uh, grabs on around uh, what's left of the base of the connector, which is pretty solid, and that keeps this from... Uh, pulling up and out. So this actually probably holds holds it more securely than even the uh, the uh, stock ones. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, spent quite a bit of the day trying to figure out how to bend these things. Takes a little practice, but uh, give it a whirl, you know. A little practice, you'll, you'll get it. So um, uh, basically here's the dimensions for these bends that I made. And this is again uh, it's a uh, just a large paper clip. Uh, not sure if it's a number three or what, but it's about 1.9 inches. Wire diameter is 0 0.046. If you can get spring steel wire, that might be better yet. Here's that stock little uh, son of a gun, um, known by all kinds of names. So um, here's kind of the bends and the dimensions. Uh, where'd that thing go here? Oh. So this is kind of what it looks like. We'll, we'll show you some pictures of it uh, with it clipped on. This will actually hold on to the, the ones that have the tops completely broken off on the connectors. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, again, here's the dimensions for these things. And uh, it's kind of a 45 degree angle roughly in the front. So again, here's what it looks like. Uh, when you make your make your bends, got a little 45 angle to the front, and then these little uh, things on the bottom are bent over to hold onto the connector. So hopefully this helps.